Welcome back. I'm here with the one and only from 702 Communications, Brian Cromit. They're celebrating their 20-year anniversary. A little yep. golf Thank you. That, Thank you. Welcome it's it's pretty exciting. Show. Thank you. Yeah. 20 years of 702 this April, and I've been with the company for 19. So really? Pretty much since the start. So for people maybe aren't familiar with 702, talk yeah. about your experience and what exactly you all do. Sure. So 702, when I started, we were really a phone company because that's really what communication was all about right at that time was, was telephone. Um, but as the years have gone by now, uh, the company's evolved, and I, I think we're better known as an Internet service provider today than a telephone company. But we do still do both. Um, but like I say, the, the industry has changed so much, yeah. and 702 is always offering new products and, and always evolving, and, and this year's no different. You know, this year we're uh, launching our managed service division, and we're opening a brand new data center here in town, so there's lots of new stuff in our 20th year. What's kind of your niche? I mean, if you say, Chris, this is our sweet spot, what, what would you Yeah, so we, uh, we do business service all over town. Um, we also deliver service to apartments in town, so we're in over 500 apartments, nice. uh, uh, buildings, so that's kind of our residential focus. And then like I say, business, we're everywhere to do everything. All right, let's talk about these doozies you have here on set. You talked a little bit about the doorbells, and uh, we had some other things. We had the tablets in. Yeah. What are we looking at here? And uh, So, yeah, we're, I brought in my Amazon uh, smart, uh, smart speaker uh, lineup today, and, and each of the smart home assistants, be it Google or uh, Amazon or, or whatever, has different tiers of their products, right? So this is, this is mine. Uh, I, I went with the, the Echo line rather than the Google Home line. Um, and you have all three of these. I have uh, these and a couple more, honestly, in my house. <laughs> but, but, so, so. The, the, Fridge, please <laughs> open. Fridge, well, bring you know, me it's beer. funny. I just, I just actually bought a fish feeder because I'm going on, on vacation and it ties into. <laughs> no way. Well. Yeah, yeah. So feed you'll be in, in a way and you'll be yeah. able to speak into your phone and feed your fish? Or just press the button and feed the fish. Yeah, you bet. <laughs> it, oh my gosh. It might be ridiculous, but, but the, these are the things you can do, right? So anyway, yeah. Um, we just want to talk a little bit today about, you know, if you're going to get into one of these smart home assistants, you know, which, which one is right and how do you choose, right? So um, we've got the dot here. This is the cheapest way to get into a, a smart home assistant. For $29, you get all of the functionality. So, you, you know, you can ask it questions. You can put stuff on your shopping list. You can have it control your smart home. You can do all of that stuff. The only thing this doesn't do is play music over a really good speaker, okay. right? Because the speaker in here is terrible. I mean, there's no room right. for it. But you, you hook this up to a stereo or you hook this up to a set of Bluetooth headphones or whatever, and this is a perfectly good option to get into your smart home, okay. right? Um, if, you wanna, if you want to step it up just a little bit, uh, this is the actual Echo. Obviously, it's, it's a little bit taller. It's got the, the speaker here. Um, otherwise, they're the, they're the same device, right? Got it, okay. So, uh, again, you know, from a functionality standpoint, you, you, you get all of the, the technical function of it. This one just has a better speaker. It's not a great speaker. It's, uh, you know, like when we reviewed the HomePod yeah, some yeah. time ago, that had great sound. This isn't that good, but it's better than this. Now, is this an Echo as well? Because this reminds me of the HomePod. Yeah, yeah, this is the Echo Plus, actually. Oh. Um, and that, that again, is a, a step up in sound. There's a little bit more functionality in this. Um, this has a hub built into it. So, um, you know, like the Philips Hue smart bulbs product, Yes. You, you need a hub to control those, a separate hub. It's not natively controlled in, in the Echo okay. line. But in this one, it is. There's a hub built into this. So um, again, you know, it, it really depends on what you're looking for your speaker to do. If, if you want good sound, this is the best sound you're going to get out of out of uh, a speaker in the Amazon line, um, standalone. This one, uh, but that you you pay a little bit more for this one too. That's right. 130 bucks. This one's 70 bucks. It doesn't sound as good as this one, but it right. sounds better than this one. Than that one, okay. You know, um, at this point, all three of them can hook up to an external stereo. Um, I, I've done that before, and actually we've got a podcast coming up where I actually plug in this to another external stereo, and you can hear the difference between the, the speakers. And I know that's hard to do on camera, so I didn't yeah, yeah, try yeah. to do, plug it in and, and, and all that. But um, any of these you know, are a good option for functionality. Again, it just it, it's a matter to me as of... of 
how important is your music and do you have other stuff to plug it in? You mentioned your podcast for people that want to see that, maybe even see you demo these things. How yeah, do they yeah. check it out? Uh, we've got a YouTube channel where G3 lives and uh, you can just search for 702 Communications and uh, this one it should actually be coming out in the next couple of weeks. So Great stuff, thank you. Again, just go to YouTube.com, put in 702 Communications, find out their G3 podcast. And stay with us, we got much more coming up right after this.